Police fired tear gas and demonstrators burned cars Monday near the home of Senegal's main opposition leader as tensions rise in the capital days before a court verdict is expected on charges against the politician. Osimane Sonko is being tried for rape and death threat against a woman working at a massage parlor and could face up to 10 years in prison. If convicted, he would be barred from running in the next year's presidential elections. Sonko and his supporters maintain his legal troubles are part of an effort by President Maki Sall's government to derail his candidacy. The clashes came a day after police stopped Sonko's Freedom Caravan traveling from his hometown of Zunguicha in the south and where he is in the mayor, the mayor to the capital Dakar where he was forced into a home he has in the city. The Interior Minister Antoine Félix Diome said Sonko had not been arrested but was caught breaking the law, partaking in an unauthorized caravan and taken home. Sonko supporters were denied access to his house on Monday and threw stones at police brocading the road. Several vehicles were burned with pockets of clashes throughout the city. Demonstrations have already turned violent in the lead up to the trial. Last week, one person was killed and others injured and then clashes erupted between police and Sonko supporters in the city of Kolda in the south. Senegal's government says it will stand firm against any attempt to disrupt public order. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.